be coming from Matthew, the fifth chapter, verses 1 through 10. So we can turn to the devotional reading at this time. Back to the pastor. Amen. And we're going to get that scripture again. It says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. We lift up our heads to heaven, praying to God, He comes to our situation. He comes to stuff that we're going through, and He will deliver us. Then we ask the question, who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty for in battle. Whatever your troubles are, God will fight your battle. Isn't that right now? Amen. Then he said, night verse said, lift up your heads, O you gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. And the song said, right on, King Jesus. Right on. At this time, we submit now. Amen. Let's all stand, please. Amen. Blessed are those who mourn, uh -huh. 
for they shall be comforted. All right. Blessed are the meek, mm -hmm. for they shall inherit the earth. Uh -huh. Blessed are those who hunger uh -huh. and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Say that. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Uh -huh. Blessed are the pure in heart. What are they going to see? For they shall see God. Tell it. Blessed are the peacemakers. Who are they called? For they shall be called the sons of God. Uh -huh. And blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Say that.
time. It's time to give back to God. But I want to thank God for these deacons and that devotion. You know, see, that kind of work started back in the bush house. That started way back years ago. And I'm glad that they've not let it go. And nothing better than God was. God loves cheerful gifts. So God gave us a good night's sleep. God gave us to get up this morning. His name is worthy to be praised. Amen. All right now. Praise him. Praise him. What you gonna say now? All right, who is he?
be standing here this morning. All right, All right now. Yes, thank you. If you would turn in your Bible to 1 Peter, yes, first chapter, say that, verse 3 and 4, yes, 1 Peter, first chapter, verses 3 and 4. Uh -huh. Can you have a say amen? Amen. Everybody got it? First Peter, first chapter, verses three and four. Then it reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope mm -hmm. by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. To an inheritance incorruptible uh -huh. and undefiled, yes. and that faded not away, mm -hmm. reserved in heaven mm -hmm. for you. Amen. God, I'm going to reserve for you. Let us pray. Yes. O oh, gracious and merciful Father, yes. we come this morning, dear Thank Lord, you. Thank you. bowed and humble before you. Yes. In the name of your Son, Jesus. Your name. Thanking and praising you, dear Lord for being the God that you are. Yes. So merciful, kind, and loving. Yes. Yes. Father, thank you for allowing me to stand behind this podium once again, yes. dear Lord. Bless you. Bless you. And Father, let the words of my mouth uh -huh. and the meditation of my heart Say that. be acceptable in your sight. Yes. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Yes. Yes. Father, we ask you to bless all those that are in attendance here this morning. Yes, say that. Every beating heart yes. and breath that is taken, dear Lord, bless it with only the way you can. Yes. Now, Father, as we go into your word, dear Lord, let the words be your words and not mine. Yes. And we give you all praise, all honor, praise. and glory. In Jesus' name Good we night. pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, giving honor to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, our Creator, our Redeemer, and our Sustainer. Yes. To Pastor Don. Yes. And Sister Don. Bless you. To Reverend Lillis. Yes. And Sister Lillis in her absence. To all of you that make up this congregation. And last but not least, my sweetheart over there in the corner. For she is my ruler. You know that the one that knocks you on your knuckles when you <laughs> get a little out of, out of shape. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in a few weeks, we would have been together 50 years. Oh, that's 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 and I wouldn't change it. Now, on last Sunday, we celebrated Easter or Resur Resurrection Sunday. Mm -hmm. But what does the resurrection mean to you? Well, resurrection means that Christ stood up. He defied death, hell, and the grave. Amen. They whipped, they beat, pierced, crucified, buried, and rolled a stone upon him with the seal of the Roman government so that he wouldn't come out. But on the third day, he stood up. Yeah, yeah. All right, now. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes. Yes. The devil didn't expect it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But he stood up. Yeah. Yeah. Demons of hell didn't expect it. Uh -huh. But he stood up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now. Yes, yes. Hell didn't expect it. But he stood up. Yes, yes, yes. Pilate in the room didn't expect it. Uh huh. Mm. But still, he stood up. Yes. All right, now, yes. all right. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes, they didn't expect it. But he stood up. Amen. 
Now he stood up for my justification. Yeah. He stood up for my reconciliation. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He stood up for my redemption. Yeah. And he stood up for my future resurrection yeah. Yeah. and glorification. Yeah. Yeah. He stood up. Now, as a subject, I'd like to use a song that we sing here all the time. Because he lives. Amen. See, many churches across the world sing songs emphasizing the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Yeah. Now, this well known song is relatively modern. Yet, timeless Christian, a spiritual song, titled Because He Lived, this song was written just a few decades ago. All right. by Bill and Gloria Gaither. These are still leaders that are popular in the Christian world today. According to one writer, the Gaithers wrote the lyrics to this song in 1969. Not too long ago. All right. The year that I met my sweetheart over there. And they did this during a fierce winter that was made worse because Bill had a, a, a physical ailment. On top of that, the 60s was a chaotic period in yes. our history. Yes. It was characterized by a shift in our values. Mm -hmm. It seemed that if God had given up on the world, the education system was filled with God is dead rhetoric. Mm -hmm. Drug abuse was everywhere and racial tensions was increasing across the country. And as the writer continues, the older generation felt that the country's best days were behind them and their baby boomer children agreed. Yet they blamed each other. See, this concerned Bill and Gloria. But in the midst of all of that, Gloria could see that the work that God was doing all around them. Mm -hmm. And she wrote this song expressing the hope given to Christians by the resurrection of Jesus. Now we all know the lyrics to that song. It goes something like, God sent his son. Mm -hmm. They called him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. Yeah. Yeah. He lived and died uh -huh. to buy my part. Yes, yeah. And empty grave is there to prove that my Savior yeah. lives. Yeah. Yeah. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Yeah. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Yeah. Because I know he holds the future. Uh -huh. And life is worth the living just because he lives. Say that. Since that day, because he lives, has been held at a classic worship song in most contemporary churches. But what does because he lives, I can face tomorrow mean? Now why you won't find the exact lyrics in scripture, it would be hard to sum up the message of the gospel in a clearer, more prolific way. Because if you had to boil it down, the single most crucial piece of the gospel is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Many people have performed good deeds and many people have died doing those good deeds. But Jesus Christ is the only one in history to live a perfect life and then brutally die for his undeserving enemies. The Apostle Paul explained in Romans 5 that but God commanded his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 and 7. But the gospel didn't stop there. Amen. Jesus was then buried, although temporarily, in what was supposed to be a permanent grave. But then he powerfully defeated death, hell, and the grave and rose again. No man had done that before or since. Of course, Jesus did many other important works and taught many more important lessons. But his death, burial, and especially his resurrection are the most crucial. Finally, after Jesus' resurrection, he ascended back to heaven mm -hmm. where he pre-existed eternally All right. in the, from the eternity past so that he may forever offer way of salvation for all those that believe on him 
Yes. And the writer of Hebrews wrote that Jesus Christ is able to save those who draw near to God through him. All right. yep. Since he always lives to make intercession for them. That is the message of the song because he lives biblical? Absolutely. The message of the song is no more than a poetic paraphrase of several passages in scripture. Church says, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his suffering. Yes. Becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible, I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Philippians 3, 10 and 11. Uh -huh. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Yes. Colossians 3 and 4. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For as by a man came death, yes. by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. Yes. For as in Adam all die, yep. that. so also in Christ shall all be made Amen. alive. First Amen. Amen. Corinthians 15 and 20. Amen. Of course, we must not focus on Jesus' resurrection only on Easter, or even only on Sundays. For believers who truly grasp the impact of the gospel in their lives, the resurrection will be a lifelong thing. Because we know that because he lives, because he lives. we can face tomorrow. Yes, yes. 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 say that, say that. We have tomorrow. full confidence that no matter what happens to us on this earth, that we can experience eternal joy with God in heaven. No wonder so many brothers and sisters continue to praise God even when they experience persecution mm -hmm. because we have a greater hope and promise. Mm -hmm. Because he lives. Mm -hmm. We can face tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the only man to declare complete victory over death. It's the God man. Yeah. Fully God and fully man. Only he could take on the sins. Yeah. Past, present, and future yeah. for the whole world. And the best news, he is alive forevermore. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he is at the Father's right hand and preparing a place for us who believe. Yes. There's a song that calls Jesus is alive and well. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. It says, Yes, Jesus died yeah. on a place called Calvary. Yeah. Yeah. The man went in the grave, yes. stayed three long days, yes. but he rose. Yes. He, got up. he rose and yes. went to victory. Grave yes. yes. gave up the victory and death lost his thing. Yes. Yes. Jesus lives again yes. with all power yes. in his hand. Yes. Yes. And we can look around and see Jesus is alive. Yes. Yes. Just look into your life. He's there every step of the way with you. Yeah. Yeah. And because he lives, we can think about tomorrow. Yeah. Because there is hope. Yeah. All right, Because Jesus didn't leave us empty-handed. Yeah. He didn't leave us alone. And because he lives, because he lives. we can face tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. There is nothing too hard for God. Amen. Yeah. And he said, I will fight your battle. Is that what he said? So, what do we have to worry about tomorrow for? Because we haven't gotten out of the day yet. But because he lives, we know we can face tomorrow. Amen. He's there already. He knows what tomorrow is going to be like. And we can't tell you what it's going to be like at 12 o'clock today. Well, God knows. And because he lives, we can face it. Now, we have all come here this morning with our hearts in tune to the gospel. Knowing that God is alive and well. Yes, say that, say that. And in our lives. Say that. Because if we didn't, 
we wouldn't have gotten up and came out. Because we wanted to be here. Amen. Because we know that because he lives, because he lives. Tell we can face tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Help us now. Help us. And you know, I look back at that song, and I didn't didn't read all of the the the, the uh, verses to that song. But you notice in the in the part that said the gators were going through troubles, they were also expecting a child. And that part in that song about the newborn babe, he, they bring it all into focus. It's not just us here now. It's all of those that are coming after us. I know everybody in here probably got some nieces and nephews and some children. Because he lives, they are included too. Now, I know I've been brief this morning, but you know when you're doing the Word of God, you just have to tell it like it is. You don't add anything and you don't take anything away from it. So, at this time, I'm going to offer an invitation to discipleship. Right. And it's extended to anyone who is facing uncertain times or days ahead. Jesus said, come. Right. Open your heart up. Confess your sins. Yes. Believing on him who will see you through tomorrow. And because he lives, because he lives, you can face all those uncertain yes, times. Yes. Some says he will make your life brand new. Amen. I know he did mine. So I remember the days when I used to run around and do some of everything. But one Sunday morning, and when the sanctuary was over there. The word just twisted my heart and wring all of that mess out. Turned me around. All right. Put me on solid ground. Tell it, tell it. And I know he made my life great. Yes. And because he lives. Because he lives. I know I can face tomorrow. All right. All right. Regardless of what comes my way. All right. I know he's right there with me. Go with 
anoint us and keep us, dear Lord, in your care. Guide us, dear Lord, in the path of righteousness. Yes. For your name's sake. And Father, walk with us through this valley of yes. the shadow of death. Yes. Anoint us, dear Lord, and keep us straight, dear Lord, in that path that you have already shone light on. Yes. Father, we know that because Jesus lives, yes. we can face tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes. Father, we ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. And Father, we just thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. Yes. And may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless oh, yes. at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful. Yes. He will surely do it. Yes. Let the church say, Amen. 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 And amen. amen. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. Thank God for you. Thank God. I thank you for your day for me. Thank you.